The plan to put up a fence along Del Mar's railroad tracks is finding more support and more critics. Some say it would be an eyesore and would change what's been historically Del Mar, while supporters of the fence say it could save lives. CBS 8's Regina Ahn is in Del Mar, Mar with more on the controversy. The plan to add fencing along the train tracks here in Del Mar was approved by the North County Transit District, but still faces opposition from the Coastal Commission and the city of Del Mar. Right now in Del Mar, there isn't much blocking you from the train tracks other than signs like these. And while safety is the number one reason for the fencing, according to the NCTD, locals say they're not too happy with the plan. The easy access is walk down the hill and then you're fine. I don't think it's necessary yet. I feel like people are pretty safe nowadays about like getting across down to the trail. But according to NCTD, the last five years, there have been 10 people who have died from being hit by a train, most recently last month. 1,800 near misses and illegal trespassing. The fatalities in Del Mar are absolutely concentrated at Coast Boulevard. That is why Del Mar is acknowledging and agreeing to fencing at track level as NCTD wishes to design it with attention to the view shed from Coast Boulevard south to 13th Street. The first phase of the fencing plan calls for a fence that would be either six or four feet high and 3,700 feet long. The second phase would add another 3,000 feet. That's over 6,000 feet, which would be near the bluffs and many homes. A Del Mar council member, Terry Gasterlin, who strongly opposes the idea of fencing, says more needs to be done and other options should be considered. All the people who walk this trail every day are going to be looking through wire mesh, hog wire, chain link fence. There is a plan to incorporate small posts and cable fencing in the upper trails. However, there needs to be an agreement between the city of Del Mar and the Coastal Commission by the end of next month. If they don't agree to a deal, the six and four foot fence can go up. People like live here and that's the whole reason that they're living here for the view and honestly easy access to the beach. There has to be an agreement by February 28th. We'll have more information available for you on CBS8.com.